Hello, in this lecture, we're going to define the term of expenses. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, WILE 22nd Edition, the definition of expenses are outflows or using up of assets as part of operations of a business to generate revenue or sales. Key terms here being that we are looking at our goal of the business, the goal generally to be revenue or sales. That's the objective. Expenses are us using up the assets in order to help us achieve that goal. We usually have some idea of what expenses are. If we were to ask someone what expenses are, probably would hear a list of expenses as an answer. But when we actually record expenses, we often get confused in terms of what's an expense, what's an asset. If we purchase something, if we consume our cash through expending it and receive something, is that thing we received an expense or is it an asset? The point in time that we consume that uh, expense, that asset, and consume it, that's when it turns to an expense. For example, if we look at some common expenses, we can look at a phone. If we think about a phone, the phone itself might be an asset because it's going to help generate revenue in the future. The phone bill <laughs> represents the stuff that we have used, the consumption of the use of the phone. That's what it's going to be an expense because we consumed that portion of it. If we think about a car, again, the purchase of the car is going to be a longer lived thing. It's going to be an asset. The depreciation as we use it and the related expenses in terms of gas and whatnot, those are going to be things we consumed at that point in time. Those are going to be the expense portion. If we think about wages, when we pay wages, that is incurred as an expense as we consume the services of the employees. We think about supplies. Again, if we purchase the supplies, could be an asset because we haven't yet used them. But when we consume the supplies, if it was ink, when we actually print something out, Technically, that's the point in time that it is now going to be an expense. Meals and entertainment. If we go buy meals, once again, we're consuming the meals at the point in time that we consume the meals. That's when it's going to be used in terms of a business purpose. If it was a business lunch or something like that. When we think about expenses, what have we consumed in terms of assets? Oftentimes, it's cash that we are spending. Now, if we're spending something on cash and we're spending it on a car, then again, the car would go on there probably as an asset. And then we would depreciate it over time because we haven't consumed the car. If we spend the cash on something like food, meals, and entertainment, we are probably going to consume that very quickly. So the cash is going down. You can think of it as the cash is going down. We're buying an asset, but then we're consuming the asset almost right after we bought it with the cash at the point in time that we use the asset in order to help us generate the revenue. That's when it's converted from an asset to an expense pretty close to the same point in time in terms of cash going down in the case of a meals and entertainment. If it can also happen that we are not spending cash but incurring a liability. If we purchase that meals and entertainment in terms of a credit card, we have not yet paid for it, but we still incurred an expense. Why? Because we basically purchased it incurring the liability and then we consumed uh, the asset that we purchased right afterwards, the meals right afterwards, therefore at the point of consumption, in terms of helping us generate revenue, that's when it has been used. Uh, a loan also could be going up. So it's possible that we pay for the expense, of course, with the cash, or it's possible that we pay for the expense with the incursion of a liability.